uh, I think this was a productive meeting as far as looking at where the program is. And I think it, you know, just like every time we meet, we come up with maybe some new things that we weren't aware of or need to change or fix. Um, I, you know, I, I, I think with the, you know, the intent of the expansion of the pharmacies, dispensaries, uh, you know, we, we have a limit in there of 30 and I don't see any way that we're going to get to 30 at the, with the existing rules that we have with the doing or what my, my focus is on, on this commission is to try to, um, uh, make the, the medicine for the patients, uh, accessible and affordable and, I mean, we're working that direction, but I don't, I don't feel comfortable that we're anywhere near where we need to be for the patient side. Expanded the law to include visiting qualifying patients, and I believe that's under the Board of Pharmacy as well. I was just curious as to, since we've implemented that, how that portion of the, um, the law is going. The law required the board to have a board-approved form. We so, so if um, explain the process or how it, um, uh, with this form, how does this work when some uh, a patient from another state who has a medical marijuana card comes to um, Louisiana and they want to use one of our dispensaries to obtain their medicine? Basically, the uh, the patient coming from another state would have to, and I'm going to paraphrase here. I'm not I'm right in front of me, mm -hmm. but basically um, they'll come to the state if they have an active medical marijuana cord in another state, the patient can, and the patient is willing to um, certify that they have a debilitating condition as diagnosed by a physician in their state, they can get their product here in Louisiana, kind of it in a nutshell. Within the limitations that we have, we have an, a, a limit on how much and, and, and different, or whatever those rules, they apply to them. Correct. And they can also reject it as well. The, the pharmacy can reject it if they don't feel uh, certain that everything that they need. Right. The law does specify if the pharmacist has any doubts whatsoever of the authenticity or legitimacy of the court or anything of that nature, they are to reject it. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you for that. I just